All right, so we are going to get started. Welcome, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining us from. Today is the Now Assist for ITSM. We're going to learn more about what's coming um, and what has come. Okay, so safe harbor notice, as you may have seen this before, um, everything we talk about is based on our current beliefs. Um, things are fast and furiously moving at ServiceNow, so keep that in mind as you make purchasing decisions in the future. Uh, with that being said, this event is a part of a curated event series to connect you with ServiceNow experts and peers um, so that you can help deploy your products and achieve value faster. We hope you can join us again for another webinar or meetup. Uh, you can scan the QR code here to see additional um, sessions that we'll have. That'll be for ITSM and other products within ServiceNow. A few housekeeping items. We've saved time at the end for Q&A. So in the meantime, please use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen along the way. Uh, this presentation will be recorded and shared on community. I will be posting the link for that um, shortly. After this event, you will be prompted to fill out a short survey, and we really appreciate your feedback. This is the first of its kind. Hopefully, there will be many more to come. Uh, Shashank will be monitoring the Q&A in, in the um, meantime, so feel free to drop your questions in there. At the end, we can come off mute and chat more. With that being said, my name is Isabella. I'm a product manager here with ITSM, primarily focused on everything AI, ML, automate within our products. Um, I am joined today with Shashank. I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you, Isabella. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, depending on which part of the world you're in. My name is Shashank Sagar. I'm a senior director of product management for ITSM, and I couldn't be more excited to be sharing with you what we're up to of generative AI, especially for ITSM and what use cases we're bringing to life as a part of our Vancouver release. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So how, if you've been on a session with me before, how I always like to start off sessions or webinars, meetups, whatever it might be, is with a poll. So I'm going to launch a poll here. Um, our question to you is regarding your implementation timeline. If you had a magic wand and could do things the way you wanted to, how, when, or if you already have plans, when would you be implementing generative AI is, or specifically now assist for ITSM? That be next quarter. Oh, sorry. That should say this quarter versus next quarter. So that first one should say this quarter. I apologize. Um, yeah. So it should be next quarter, next year. Oh, no, I did say it right. Okay. <laughs> next quarter, next year no plans to implement or other. Well, my brain is still waking up this morning. I saw next in both of them and I was like, what did I do? Uh, no worries. So we're going to leave this open for about 15 more seconds and then we will read out the results. And this helps us really kind of address you all as we have this conversation, how, um, how to have this conversation, especially if you're implementing next quarter, next year, or no plans yet, we can really take the conversation really broad or make it more specific. So I'm going to end the poll now. Um, we got about 70% responses. So it's 17% said um, next quarter, 31% said next year, and then 49% said um, no plans yet. And 3% said other. So I'm going to open the chat to see if anyone said anything regarding other. Um, not seeing anything in the chat, but that's okay. So this will really help. So 70% of you responded. And then um, majority of you don't have plans yet. So hopefully by going through this exercise, really explaining to you our thought process behind analysis for ITSM, we can help. Um, you create your plans and, you know, get more refined with your implementation timeline. Okay. So I am going to move forward. So, um, after talking to multiple customers, one of the common themes that popped up is organizations are pressed to provide better experiences and more efficiency. 
almost all of them consider this their mission critical objective. So really what we're focusing on as we move forward is efficiency and improving experiences. And that's what we really wanted to bring to life with now assist for ITSM. It's no wonder when you dig into the data that Harvest, Harvard Business Review reports that 9% of time is spent reorienting the task after finding that information finding the information to complete the task or workflow, switching from one incident to another is taxing. Um, also, 20% of time is lost searching for information to complete a task, according to McKinsey. And then finally, Gartner reports that 43% of employees miss important information because they have too many applications open. Requesters move on with their work quick. And if it takes too long for a resolution, it might be too late to be helpful. So these are the things that we kept in mind as we were, um, you know, discussing what to bring to life in now analysis for ITSM. So employees and agents shouldn't have to struggle this way, and they no longer have to with analysis for ITSM. Uh, analysis for ITSM helps you drive the business so that you can increase operational efficiency employee experience and organizational throughput. Ultimately, we want employees to get the information they need so that they can get back to the things that matter most, which is their work. So efficiency, experience, and throughput. Now, assist for ITSM helps lead helps leaders like you meet their goals by helping service owners, agents, and employees uh, synthesize information faster. For service owners specifically, they can resolve outages faster by getting up to speed on the problem faster. Therefore, they're assisted with post-incident reviews and communications as well. Agents can get up to speed faster. Many times that means picking up where the last agent left off. Furthermore, they're assisted with knowledge creation, making adherence to KCS simple. And then for employees, they don't have to search for snippets of knowledge in an article. They really get the answers that they're looking for, not just search results. So when generative AI took the world by storm, we immediately started thinking about use cases. And we, what we landed on is that it is not a fundamental shift in work, but it's a fundamental shift in how work is done. And so we set out to weave this capability seamlessly into the fabric of our platform. The, the application and workflows within Now Platform, our customers' data like yourself, and the power of large language models is the trifecta that puts us in the very unique position to take advantage of these kinds of generative AI capabilities, such as text classification, generation, summarization, supporting analytics, et cetera in ways that create uh, value for you while providing exceptional experience for your employees. So why now assist for ITSM? Well, it's our expertise, our applications, our workflow that stand to benefit the most from our AI. And the fact that we're not, we're, the fact that we are obsessed with you, our customers, that makes us in the best spot to bring now assist for ITSM alive and to really create this um, expertise with our application and workflows and our obsession of customers to that is how we approach um, this generative AI future. Um, so I'm gonna go into some features, but before I do that, I'm gonna pop into the Q and A. And yeah, Isabel, there's a question around what is KCS? Mm -hmm. Um, so that's knowledge, essentially knowledge management. I'll go back to that slide. Um, where were we? Support. Yeah, exactly. So I think we were talking about it here with agents for KCS. Mm. Um, knowledge creation support. So thank you. Any other questions? I'll just add one more thing to it. And knowledge center support, just to elaborate slightly, and as if I, I see Iran as well, so chime in too, uh, is really all about making the work of the agents easier, making them more productive and giving them a much better overall experience. So some of the use cases that you're gonna see today, hopefully are a start into uh, that journey 
where we continue to strengthen the agent productivity and the overall experience with employees also. Awesome. Um, so let me see if there are any more questions. Oh, no, thank you. All right, so we are gonna move in to a few slides, but rather than overwhelming, you all with slides, continue to overwhelming with slides. We're just going to do two slides and then we're going to um, go into a live demo so you can see firsthand what it looks like. Um, so before I do that, um, really the first step is that we're enhancing is AI search. This is not a new capability, but the, and the idea is pretty straightforward. So given a search query, query um, returning relevant KB articles, um, like I mentioned, this works because it's giving results, but our employees are really looking for answers. So with this capability, it's helpful for employee service owners and agents because they get answers faster rather than just search results. So um, it reduces MTTR and improves experience so that everyone is left better delighted. Um, so now you're getting answers, not just results. So that's the first thing that we wanted to touch on. So it's now assist search and then now assist side panel. Um, think of agents that need help to um, summarize a task or an interaction, generate knowledge articles, generate resolution notes. Well, the side panel now allows you to be on an incident on a record and take action um, in the side panel. Uh, whether it be summarizing what you're seeing in front of you, creating resolution notes, um, et cetera. It's easy to access. It's context aware. It's guided and simple interaction methods, really helping you reduce time spent on a task and driving deflection. So that's what you get with now assist side panel. Um, again, you can kind of see what's going on here asking how can we help today? Can you summarize this incident? And then you get a quick summary rather than having to go through and reading what are sometimes extensive activity streams and back and forth between an agent and um, an employee. So next we're gonna talk about incident summarization, chat summarization and um, resolution notes. But again, rather than just showing you more slides, I'm gonna hand it over to Shashank to do a quick demo. All right, so I'm going to quickly share my screen. Isabella, let me know if you're able to my screen okay. Uh, yes, now I can. All right, so what I'm showing here is essentially the experience of uh, an employee as well as, and the name of the employee is David. So that's what you see on the left side. So when employee David logs into their uh, employee center, they're able to fire up their virtual agent chat. So that's what you see on the on the left side. And on the right side, I have my agent. Her name is Beth. So Beth comes in to the office in the morning. She makes herself available. So that way is, uh, she knows that uh, she's now able to take incidents if they come through. But David comes in and he realizes that his email isn't working. So he fires up the company portal and says, I'm having email issues. So this is a very typical virtual agent conversation where the virtual agent wants to start to diagnose these issues uh, it's by itself um, and then asks some questions. So it's very conversational. And then the virtual agent wants to be able to know if the issues are with the computer or iPhone. Uh, it goes through pre-built prompts that actually ask questions around, have you installed Intune, which is actually one of the, the typical software that is needed. Uh, this is the time where the virtual agent is out of its keys. So it says, would you like me to transfer the issue to a live agent? So virtual agent says, yes. And on the right side, you can see the incident from David Miller has now been passed over to Beth, who is our agent live. Now, typically, what you what would happen is when uh, uh, the agent accepts the case, they would have to go through typical prompts with the employee to be able to ask what really happened. Now, not a great experience if you think about it, because 
the employee now has to be able to give the same information potentially twice. But voila, if you actually look at generative AI, it not only detects what conversations happen in virtual agent, but with the full context, it's able to summarize the uh, what steps have been taken, what potential issues they have. So as we again think about knowledge center of service, this provides an elevated experience, not only for the agent, but also for the employee, because now they're not having to repeat the same conversation over again. Now, typically this is where uh, the, uh, the typical conversations would, would go on. So, um, you know, uh, but I'm not going to go through building the entire incidents. But in order for me to be able to show you some of the other powerful features that are available in Generative AI, I'm actually going to switch to an incidence that already all of these conversations have happened. So fast forward, we're now in a scenario where we do have uh, a lot of back and forth that has happened between the employee and, let's say, David in this scenario. And now, as the diagnosis is happening, the agent, Beth, wants to be able to see what steps she's actually taken in a very quick way. So she can come here to summarize. And now, with the power of generative AI, voila, again, feels like magic. But I, I believe us that this is all powered by LLM from ServiceNow. So it's absolutely secure. Uh, we are very careful about the data sharing and, and how do we make sure that we provide full PII and confidentiality. But at the same time, we do provide functionalities like this where the summarizations can be provided to the agent in a very short amount of time. So what you're seeing here is again, the continuation of the elevated experience for the agent. And what we're finding is that with using some of these features, the overall productivity of some of our agents are increasing anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes almost entire day. So before we actually push any of these features out to our customers, we always make sure we test them in our own environments with our own agents who are actually be able to provide support to our employees. So some of the data and the information that I'm sharing actually has come from the studies that we do there. Now, last feature I wanted to be able to show today in today's demo is we move forward, Beth move forward. She's able to help resolve uh, all of the issues with David. And this is typically the last step where uh, if let's say Beth was to resolve the issue, now typically she's going to have to be able to go and type in the resolution nodes. Um, but in this scenario, because of the power of generative AI, the resolution notes are not only auto-populated, but they're also provided and written in a very consistent format. So thereby reducing uh, for the next agent, if somebody wants to be able to come back and refer to these incidents, not only does it make it makes it easier for them to be able to get up to speed, but also for our Beth, who's our agent, makes her experience seamless, increases productivity, and the overall experience from the employee to the agent overall is seamless here. Um, but thank you everyone for joining today. We appreciate your time. Hopefully you found this informative. Thank you Shashank and Asif as well for helping answer questions and driving this session. So if there's no other questions, feel free to um, drop off and we'd love to hear your feedback. If not, we'll stay on for another moment or so um, to answer any additional questions. Thanks folks. Thank you everybody.